Joining me now to uh, get into this is Liz Winstead. She's a co-creator of The Daily Show and the founder of Lady Parts Justice, an organization fighting for women's reproductive rights. Uh, Liz, on that stage, German Chancellor Angela Merkel, probably the most powerful woman in the world. Yeah. Uh, Christine Lagarde, the head of the IMF. Queen Maxima of the Netherlands. Canada's foreign minister, whom you know, Chris Freeland, one of the most powerful uh, journalists and now yeah. uh, politicians in the world. And, and clothing Kipfer. designer... Ivanka. I, I think it's a fair question to ask. Is this the woman sh who should be representing the United States on a, on a major important global stage talking about women's issues? No, especially since all of those women on that stage got there because they actually had to in some way, shape or form create policies that worked, see those policies implemented. Um, Germany has one of the most incredible policies when it comes to women in the workplace, child care, health care. And to say, when Ivanka Trump was laying out about her dad, and, and again making it some kind of media conspiracy mm -hmm. right. that her father had somehow right. been horrible to women, and then to say, my father sees that women have great potential. Right. Thanks. Thanks. You know yeah. what? I'm feeling really good about that. Yeah. Because uh, I didn't know that women had any potential. So she, th that was an interesting pivot for her where she said, I've heard that. So yes. Not, not, I mean, just saying, I've heard not, it. Not, I've witnessed it. Not, I saw the tape. Not, I saw my father do that. Yeah. I.e., by the media. And if one wants to go any farther with that, by the fake news. Right. And so, it's so interesting to me every single time, you know, if people we love mess up, they don't get better if we deny that they're messing up. And we watch this time and time again. And so for her to be one of the number one advocates in the ear of this person who has, is completely tone deaf on women's issues, uh, especially in the wake of putting Planned Parenthood in a wall into a budget, you know, government shutdown crisis, right. um, it does us no service, and she does no service. To okay, so for somebody, for a woman who has some accomplishments uh, in that she's run some things, does she have a role to play in making Donald Trump uh, uh, understand the issues that women face and ways in which to support them? Does she play a role, or is she complicit and an enabler? If she is put into a position to do that, yes. If she doesn't understand who working women really are, who low-income women and what women of color and all these people who are struggling desperately under these economic policies that her father keeps proposing to lob on, then she should probably go back to her clothing design business. If we give her the benefit of the doubt to say that if she's in the right position to do this, let, let me just tell you something she re wrote. She wrote an op-ed for the Financial Times today um, with the president of the World Bank arguing that more needs to be done to empower women economically. Here's the quote. Uh, we need to increase access to finance, redistribute care work, accelerate progress to financial inclusion, and offer programs that train female entrepreneurs and help them access higher value markets. We need to develop new legal and regulatory frameworks to boost women's growth and productivity. That's real stuff. Stuff. If she means it and, and wrote it and can have some influence on, on the president to, to support that stuff, that, you're a businesswoman. This is what people need. Yeah, that is what people who have an MBA are going into business need. Do you know what also women need? Access to their own destiny, which for po poor women and low-income women, the very first thing in an economic freedom path is access to birth control. Right. And... and you don't think that if she doesn't come out in support of, of uh, maintaining funding or uh, allowing states to continue to fund Planned Parenthood, that she's all that's, able to get that, that's right all crap right. to me. That is just you. If you do not see that a woman's economic freedom, especially when she is young, coming out of college, a low low income, that that deciding when and if you want to have kids or more kids is not the first line of defense before you get to all that. Yeah, she is completely tone deaf then. Uh, separately from her, because it's her father who's the president, yes. uh, do you, in the first hundred days, has, has he been better or worse for women uh, based on what you expected going into this? I think what he has been is he, he's given license to a lot of things that... I, I thought it, I thought it was bad. I didn't know that it would. I don't. I'm just one of those people that was like, oh my god, it just keeps getting worse. I think Gorsuch on the court is something that's going to be really terrifying for women. I also think too, one thing that's happening that's that's not talked about a lot in the states right now is as we talk about will Roe v. Wade be something that will be overturned with some kind of legislation that comes through. A lot of states are creating, if it does get overturned, really, really um, terrifying models of what, what their laws will look like. 
um, if there is no more Roe. Alabama just passed a law that said if Roe v. Wade is overturned, abortion will be completely abolished in our state. So things like that are really scary as that comes down the pike. So look for that in your state legislatures. Well, you're going, you're taking a, a, a road trip to yes. 16 uh, red states this yes. summer. What's the message? The message is we are trying to um, help communities who uh, who can help create community around these clinics who are doing really good work, help them advocate have the, and learn from the clinics themselves. So, you know, there's nothing better than rallying people in a nice comedy show and then having um, somebody from the clinic tell them what they need, create community and support around them. We think we can actually grow some really, really good volunteers and advocates. Liz, thank you for joining us for some analysis on this. Great to see you. Thanks, you too. Liz Winstead is a co-creator of The Daily Show and the founder of Lady Parts Justice, which is an organization.